afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day's trading Thursday, the 24th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, let's look at the stats midday on the European equities. At present, you have the uh, FTSE 100 up 33 points, the DAX up 40 and the French CAC up 10. Okay, so the uh, Euro still at centre stage. Euro will dictate. We have uh, almost 24 hours to go now until Mr Draghi obviously speaks. And the Euro still is hugging that 1.18 zone. Uh, looking at the Euro itself, really, or trying to map the potential trajectory, the Euro will give you a head heads up in terms of Mr Draghi's comments and obviously the reaction in equities as well. Now, let's just quickly look at the actual Euro USD itself. A weekly chart certainly remains overextended. You know, previous support equals resistance, but having said that, that's no reason for the euro to obviously reverse. It has pushed higher quite substantially from 1.08 to 1.18. So Mr. Draghi will find, possibly may well find the need to talk the euro down, or he could remain neutral, or he could certainly talk taper, tapering, which will send the euro higher again. The daily chart at the moment certainly is exhausted. You have this potential... Uh, uh, bear flag type scenario, but again, the market could uh, certainly break higher as well on the back of Mr. Draghi's hawkish comments or his uh, his ability to remain neutral and certainly not talk the euro down, which in and of itself would more than likely be construed as, as hawkish and therefore would send the euro even higher. So, And if the euro moves higher, then that certainly has an effect on exports, which in turn obviously hurts the uh, European economy and therefore sends European equities lower. So at the moment, we certainly haven't, uh, tested that previous high which is 1.19 we've just basically been oscillating thus far okay uh, now again it's up to Mr Draghi uh, technicals can give you one perspective but Mr Draghi's comments on fundamentals will give certainly give you another uh, one would argue one could argue that the market obviously has been obedient here okay so again we've broken out of that uh, potential rising wedge so far, we just basically traded sideways, and again, Mr. Draghi will dictate the next potential direction in the actual market itself. Also, with regards to GBP USD post UK GDP numbers, okay, uh, retail sales, consumption, uh, business investment, all certainly came in negative or on the weaker side, okay. That still hasn't deterred the FTSE. The FTSE still continues to rise regardless. If I bring up the GBP USD, it has stabilized now, certainly has bounced that 1.2780 zone, okay. Looking at the daily chart at the moment, you can see here previous resistance equals support. Okay, you're currently around the 1.28 zone. Okay, so you can clearly see here GBP USD certainly finding support even after the weaker UK data it still seems seems to be clinging on or finding support at present. Okay, so all the economic data today really has been from France. We certainly have had economic stronger economic data out from France this morning, individual investment, business, climate. Uh, GDP from Spain certainly has coming more or less in line and coming in stronger. UK GDP numbers, from my understanding of my reading, especially business investment, uh, consumption and of retail sales, basically uh, housing as well. Boom Moody's certainly raising concerns over housing, so therefore uh, risk negative. CBI data certainly coming in negative as well. Uh, overall, from my own in interpretation and my understanding, certainly net and negative and therefore it would uh, exert pressure on the uh, sterling to certainly move lower as well. We're looking forward to US data now and out in the next seven minutes. We have jobless claims, then you've got existing home sales. So home sales and jobs data, we'll see exactly how the market reacts there. Okay, so in terms of technical picture, let's just quickly go to the technical picture, given the fact that Mr. Draghi is an hour away, or should we say 24 hours away. Uh, German DAX at present, daily chart, you can see we're still uh, struggling here at this upper body of this uh, diagonal trend line. Okay, so again, looking at the daily chart, still have lower lows, lower highs. 60-minute chart at the moment still oscillating, especially given the fact that the, the euro is above 1.18, and therefore that's my barometer. Uh, 1.18 really is the, uh, the the line in the sand in terms of risk. Above 1.18 is bearish, below 1.18 is bullish. And at the moment, I would interpret that as being bearish, and therefore you are looking for that unfilled gap below, which is expected at 1.11, 1, 1, well, 112, uh, 12066, certainly looking to close. Another gap as well, 12.015. And let's see if we can actually potentially close that. Now, US market certainly under pressure as well on the back of Mr. Trump. Okay, his threat to shut down the uh, the government uh, in order to justify his um, really racist uh, policy of uh, building a wall versus Mexico. 
I'm not sure how a war can stop uh, the uh, Mexican culture and the Mexican influence in America. It's certainly embedded there. Either way, he's he's an idiot. Okay, so again, that, that certainly is risk negative. Also, given the fact that his bickering and his childish uh, antics certainly do, have, or certainly has, not do, certainly has uh, obviously prevented tax reform, infrastructure reform, etc. So he certainly lost a lot of political capital in order to uh, justify and confirm that uh, that bill going through. Okay, so again, look for a potential gap below. Uh, and again, US markets will dictate, especially given the fact that yesterday the S&P sold off into the close. Certainly is a negative sign. You can see here we rejected 24.48 very quickly and we started to sell off yesterday. So certainly looking for further weakness today. Okay, so that's the status quo with regards to the German DAX. Let's move on to the French CAC at the moment. French CAC, ever since it closed a gap at 12, what, 5.148, certainly has been struggling and will continue to struggle with the euro above 1.18. So again, no man's land trading sideways. In terms of the FTSE 100, my bias certainly remains negative, especially after the weaker data that we've received today. Okay, we'll see how the markets react at the moment. They've certainly uh, look, look to buy the FTSE. Uh, certainly not my expectations. So certainly going against my my analysis. My stop loss is at 7.430 and then I'll reassess. So if we get to 7.445, then again, that'll be another shorting opportunity for me. If we break above that, you're looking at 7.475 and then obviously you're looking at 7.500. And then back up to that 7540 zone. Now, the daily chart has key resistance at that pivot high of 7445. I certainly don't expect that level to be touched, especially with weaker data today. But the market obviously can slow, show, um, well, certainly show many surprises. Now, especially with the, the pound certainly perking higher from 1.28, again, that certainly is another risk, a negative risk factor. Keep an eye on oil as well. We certainly had a rebound overnight, so we'll see exactly how that responds. My, bearing in mind, Asian markets were negative. The Shanghai and the ha and the Nikkei uh, was both negative overnight. So again, certainly risk off. Uh, although U.S. equities certainly seem to be rebounding at the moment. Okay, so last but not least, let's just quickly look at the euro stocks as well. Uh, euro stocks, you have the unfilled gap below at 3438, uh, and then you have the unfilled gap at 3423. Now, those both of those gaps are in. Are in are certainly in play, especially with the Euro USD above 1.18. Okay, I think that's a good summation of European equities. And please be sure to uh, visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. And be sure to visit Trade Signal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.